Shotguns have the potential to be really good in Call of Duty, but they've also been not so good from time to time. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel and welcome to the top three series. This is where we cheat and we cut to the front of the line on all your best gaming uh, videos. We do the top three. Today, uh, it's the top three worst shotguns in Call of Duty. These shotguns that have graced us with their presence and we uh, didn't like it. Drop a like, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed this quicker top three series. Let me know what you think were the worst three. Here we go. The S12 in Black Ops 2. Now, I know a lot of people like this gun for the spam factor, but it was terrible. It, it was. You can't argue. It was a semi-auto shotgun, big magazine, high rate of fire. That's all good. Sounds great, right? Sounds terrifying for the enemy, but the damage was embarrassing. The pellets would hit for as low as six damage. They would disappear completely after 15 meters, which made it literally useless beyond close range. Now, the S12 may have had some good DPS up close, but if that enemy took just a few steps back, they were safe. They were in a safe zone, and even then, the damage was inconsistent. At point blank range, sometimes you could drop somebody with a single shot. But in other instances, you would have to hit them two to three times to drop them. It was incredibly inconsistent and completely useless past close range. I know it's a shotgun. Close range is where it's supposed to be. It's fun to run around with. It just wasn't any good. At number two, the sawed off shotgun in COD World War II. When this game dropped, people were excited to see return of the sawed off. But when we got it in our hands, we were disappointed. It was also extra ironic because this gun was a massive grind to unlock. Once you finally got your hands on it, you were treated to some of the most, most inconsistent damage in shotgun history as well as one of the longest reload animations. You could only hold two shells at a time, so you would think the damage would be good, right? No, wrong. When COD World War II first launched, it wasn't uncommon to get two hit markers with the sawed off. Come on, two hit markers, and then get stuck with a super long reload animation. I mean, it was it was bad. It was buffed a few times throughout, but it was still never good. And at number one today, the trench gun in World at War. This is as bad as it gets, my friends. It was a pump action shotgun in WA that was not only bad on its own, but it was even worse because of the map design in the game. It was only capable of a one-shot kill at super close range, and even then, that wasn't a guarantee. It also had a pretty slow rate of fire and it could only hold four shells, meaning you were going to be spending a lot of time reloading and preparing the gun for the next shot. But what really killed the trench gun was the maps. Most of the maps in this game were open. They didn't have a lot of cover or close range areas. So when you had a gun like this that only worked at point blank range, it was just a waste of space in your class. The World at War trench gun was a massive piece of crap. And if you ask me, it's the worst shotgun in any Call of Duty game. Give me your three in the comment section below. Share this with a fellow COD gamer. I'll see you guys soon.